What's going on YouTube? This is Lintheo coming at you with episode 3 of Forgotten Cards of Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, now, this card, uh, Curse Seal of the Forbidden Spell, was originally released in Invasion of Chaos. Um, it's also been in Darby Guinness 2, or Darby Guinness 1 Terrain Championship Pack 5. Um, basically, this card reads, it's a counter trap, uh, and it reads, discard one spell card, negate the activation of a... Th uh, of Negate the activation and the effect of a spell card and destroy it. Your opponent cannot activate spell cards with the, that name during the rest of the duel. Now, this card is quite interesting and is one card that I have got sided against Prophecies. Now, obviously we all know Prophecies um, play all the fucking spell cards in the game ever. Uh, they have all their cards and obviously with um, uh, judgment, Divine Judgment coming out... Um, it's going to make it very difficult because they're going to be able to recycle them over and over and over. But this card, I think, has some very interesting... Um, very interesting... It has an interesting place for me in the meta. Um, with MST at 3, if you set this just to try and bluff that... To, you know, try and bait that MST, you go... They MST you. Uh, Curse of the Seal. It's just like, well, I now know you have two dead cards in your deck. Um, and I can, you know, quite happily set my back row. Um, the only thing you need to worry about is um, Heavy Storm, basically. Um, and uh, hopefully you might have pr uh, protection for that anyway. Um, but yeah, so th this card of things very interesting and definitely should be looked into. Um, it, it has definitely been forgotten. Um, I don't think it was really in the mind of many people. It's always been a tech more than a staple. Um, I would say, but I do think that this card, ha ha you know, holds some weight and the surprise factor of playing this. Yes, it is technically a minus one because obviously you're discarding for that spell card. You need to, and the fact you have to discard a spell card as well is quite annoying. But you know, if you play it in like quite high decks, I think this would be a very good card in uh, a prophecy mirror match. Um, just because you have so many spells, you have so much access to them, uh, and I do think that prophecy players should definitely side this at least. Um, because, you know, you hit that secret and their main searching engine has been absolutely screwed. So, obviously, they, they, it's, the deck isn't dead, put it that way. Once you play call, uh, and negate secrets, it isn't dead. But if you can play more, you play that um, and, you know, hit, like, Master as well or something like that. Just, you know, they haven't really got much searching and you're going to slow them down a hell of a lot. Um so I just think that would be quite cool, a quite cool card to kind of try out. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's basically it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, apologies that I didn't have any videos up at the weekend. Uh, I've been very busy. Uh, I haven't been to locals recently, but um, uh, yeah, I'm going this weekend. So hopefully, I have some cool stuff coming up. Um, also, going to have my thoughts on the March ban list basically on the first of March because I want everything to be confirmed, and I'm going to talk uh, about it in depth. Um, I might break it down in certain videos, um, but I'm not sure yet. It's probably going to be quite a long one. But yeah, uh, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thumbs up, like, uh, comment, and um, tell me what you think about this card. Cheers, guys.